Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Flashback Fridays. Today we're starting Star Trek, the 2010 I think or 2009 game uh, released just shortly after the movie and uh, yeah let's get into it and see how we do. Ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch! That's off pretty intense. Captain, grenade. Oh. What's happening here? Interesting. What caused that? It is your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Oh, they even have uh, Zachary Quinto and Chris Pine's voices. Damn it! That's cool. Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another. Captain? We have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game? Zoe Saldana's voice as well. Defeat? That's cool. <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. <laughs> What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Nice. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. No? Well, looks like I'm going. <laughs> Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good. Captain, you come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. Enterprise shuttle, confirming approach at 5 by 6. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Ooh. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. Aye, Captain. Okay. 
stuff's exploding. Okay, so A is actually jumping, not round. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Oh dear. So now we've got to find a way around to the it. Was this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain? Yeah. Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very precise. Found it. Mr. Spock. Full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. Just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. All right, we're where we need to be. Give me a hand with this door. Oh, he's dead. Well, he's not, but he's he's dying. He's stuck in there. If we don't get him, let's get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. Please, you must be <sighs> I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Good point. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. There we go, done. It's easier once you know what you're actually doing. Come on, Spock. Let's go. Going a bit mental here. There we go. Hey, Spock, you look like you need a hand. Sir, we need to disable that laser arm. Done. Get to it, Spock. Jump. He's pretty strong, isn't he? Really. It's a heck of a heck of a leap side to side with just pretty much your arms. Spot you here. You will be if I uh yeah. Start the door open, you will come along. Doesn't sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Stay low, Spock, and then you won't die. Where are we going? In here? Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain. I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator, but again, yeah, you better. I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? 
I'll try to live long and prosper. <laughs> Spot and you come. We should engage mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. As soon as get a belt off your back, get into cover, Spock. Oh, I see we need to be behind Captain, those shield cover until it regenerates. Got it. See. Wait that for makes it. more sense. Go now. Don't go now then. Okay. See, B is to enter cover, there we go. That's more like it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah. Captain, oh, shit. Stay Let's get out of here. Yep. I am uncertain how much more exposure our suits can handle. It's not a bad start, really, to a level, is it? It's quite simple, but at the same time, fairly difficult at the same time to get it wrong. Come on, Spock. Let's go. What? Hold, hold, hold X to heal, okay. So it's health points as well. You love to see it. Lieutenant, we have reached the station's core. We seek whatever further assistance you can provide. The only way forward is to shut down the core's rings. To do this, you will need to work together. One of you must scan the control console to stop the ring. This will allow the other person to engage the locking mechanism. Nice. Commander, I must warn you, a manual shutdown under these circumstances is highly risky. Gotcha. It's always it's highly risky. Up. That's the locking mechanism. Spock can slow down the ring long enough, I can shoot. Oh, uh, yeah. Captain. Now would be a good time to shoot the locking mechanism. See, I realize you We must repeat the maneuver for the remaining rings. Yes, we must. So get to it. When the ring is stopped, that break is exposed. Perhaps a phaser blast would release the mechanism. Alright, Jesus. I'm not waiting for this to, to be good. Let it go and then we'll run off. Come on! Let's go, let's go. We're through the core, let's find that stranded crew. Ooh. Alright, we 
getting it. Some of these explode, I see. Come on. Cover spot. We're gonna get there, that's good. Captain, wait. This one is still alive. Quick, let's get him inside. I think that's a woman. Not get him in. Can't get him inside if it's a woman. Captain, life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transport. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. Don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Wow. Some honor. Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tamar, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. Okay. What's going on down there, Captain? So glad to see it. That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Uh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. <laughs> I've got manual lock, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. <laughs> Got him. Prepare to energize. Thank you. Well, we thought we had uh, saved them. Turns out. The station's not going to hold. We gotta get back oh. to the shuttle. Run! Oh shit! Right. Keep moving. I do not think this station is salvageable, Captain. Oh, you think so? I'm glad you realized there that. There is no but time to stop. We're not. Run! That's Mr. Sulu. Love to see it. They found him. Or he found him. Ooh. That's actually quite a good little intro level, really. I like it.
Are you all right, Captain? Definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Okay. It's the Mars thing. solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days nice. ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. <sighs> I'm sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Mr. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? A shortcut there through space, no way eh? to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Ohura Hail New Vulcan. My Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the rip is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. Okay, so that is where I'm going to end this first episode of Star Trek. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Star Trek as a part of my Flashback Friday series, then please subscribe, and I will see you next time.